What's up guys? Officially day one in Bali. We made it after about like 35 hours of not sleeping. Just got up this morning, hit the gym. It's a beautiful sunny day. We got this amazing villa with this awesome pool area. Come chill out, soak up some vibes, have a few people over, just kick it. But right now, if you guys remember Johnny Edlin from episode, what, four, five something? Could have been. I have no idea, but last time we were here in Bali, we also met up with Johnny, so he's actually in town right now, so we're gonna go meet up with him for a little brunch and uh, maybe plan out something dope to do today. So let's go. <laughs> and now on Thursday, uh, we can't do anything yeah, for 24 hours. I know, it's fucked. We just gotta like lock ourselves. Like, where, I think they turn off all the going? data. I, heard, I don't know. I heard they don't do that. Oh, but, really? But no. Like, you're allowed to have lights and data and stuff in your house, yeah. but like, shut the blankets and, and stuff, and like curtains and shit. Yeah, I don't know. Our, our cleaning lady, she said, I think they turn off the data on your phone. I was like, yeah, no. what? I asked like, like local girls yesterday, they, they don't. Yeah. There's a, a holiday on Thursday where they make everybody shut down everything, and you can't leave your house for 24 hours, so. Like the airport is shut. Everything is <laughs> shut. You're not allowed to breathe. <laughs> like grooming products. All right. Yeah. Cool. You know, like beauty products. Yeah, yeah. For both men and women. Cool. What's it called? No idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the process. And also, physical products are the best for doing influencer mm -hmm. campaigns with. Because mm -hmm. you just hand out, yeah. especially with your network yeah. and people that yeah. know you, just like, exactly. yo, check this out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Help it's me such out. Easy thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> especially if it's a cool product. But yeah, and if it's good, yeah, then they will. it'll sell itself. Yeah, exactly. You want to you talk about it? Cameron. You accidentally said the. The premiere to the wrong time. Oh yeah, no, that was my problem, actually. I forgot about that part. So it was my fault. Anyways, guys, we're getting ready to upload. So you guys, today is episode one of Life of an Iconic Entrepreneur. Digital Nomad 2019, $106,000 in 37 days. Okay, so that's the first 37 days of the year. We're a little late on posting this. We had some crazy shit happen. Again, that we're talking about in episode two. And other episodes, I don't know what episodes they're in because we haven't even posted any yet. So we have three episodes filmed that it, it's a smorgasbord that we haven't even posted the first one yet. Because I got fucking robbed, my Instagram is gone, I didn't have a MacBook for two weeks, blah, 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 blah. But I'm really excited about getting this up. Kind of nervous to see how people respond to it, if they like it, if they're like, yo, foos, that's fucking stupid, fucking quit, pussy. Or, <laughs> like, or to like keep going. So I don't know. But it is 11.22 p.m., which means it's 12.30 p.m. In the U.S. of the A's. I'm going to schedule the post it at 3 in the morning our time, because clearly I'm not going to do a premiere at 3 in the morning. So we're going to go back to maybe just not doing premieres and see how this works, especially for episode one. Mostly because I'm not going to stay up at 3 in the morning for that. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel me? Y'all feel me? Y'all feel me, because I'm not doing that shit. I gotta sleep. It's published. So it's 3 in the morning. I'll probably get up at 7.30. Oh, you're not gonna wake up for 2K. You're probably gonna have like 600 views a night by then. Nah, I'm gonna go with at least 1,500. 1,500 in the first three hours without a premiere. I like it. It would be <laughs> nice. I got high hopes. I mean, I posted on Instagram. It's gonna be live 3 p.m. Oh, fuck. I said 3 p.m. Eastern. So that means it's 2 a.m. What are you doing, dude? Time zones. <laughs> See you guys in the morning. 1,500 views. Three hours. Uh. <laughs> what is up, guys? It is like 5.30 in the morning. The TV's on. I came in here, and our security guard was watching TV in our living room. <laughs> I was like, well, what's up, man? <laughs> He's like, hello. It's like, all right, you know, you do you, I guess. But as I said, it's 5.30. 30 in the morning. I was hoping to get 1500 views, but we're at 850, but it's only 530. We were talking about like seven o'clock. So we still have like two hours to get to 1500. I think we're there. We're going. It's already happening, but great response so far. Thanks to everybody who's watching. I also forgot to mention that my YouTube ad is pre-rolling right now, my actual YouTube video. So more of the foos in your face. 
we've been doing this thing called Student Profit Showcase, showing people how much money our students have been making in my iconic traders platform. So they just broke $100,000 in, in student profits so far this year. And we do this thing on Instagram where we showcase it. And I don't know what your problem is, Norbert, but you can never get the fucking numbers right or the swipe up or the call to action right. So we just blast out an email and it says the year to date profits are $17,000. Like what the fuck? You know what? I'm going to go wake you up right now. It's 547 in the morning and you need to come fix this, bro. Where are you at? Where are you fucking at, Norbert? There he is. Norbert. Yes? You wrote $17,000 on the year-to-date profits instead of over 100000 Wait, what? On the Instagram post. For year-to-date profits, it says $17,000, and they posted on Instagram and wrote an email blast out to our email list, and the number's wrong. I have 100%. You're live on video. P.S. It's 5.49 in the morning. But we need to fix it. Create Cafe opens in 10 minutes. So what's the plan, bro? Right now the plan is coffee. Like, that's my first. <laughs> Other than that, I already did that. You can always have another one. There's always room for coffee. Done and done. Done and done. So what's the, uh, so your buddy gets here at, like, 3? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he lands at 3, 3.15. Alright, so what's the update? Three hours uh, later. The update is... We're not going to Ubu, we're booking a hotel here in Chengdu because they're doing this ceremony that they shut everything down for a day. And I guess apparently they bang a bunch of pots and pans around to get the spirits out, according to Jack over here. <laughs> and then they have these big monsters to scare them away. So we got to go get a hotel so that we don't uh, just sit in the dark for 24 hours. You fucked up the booking, let's start with that. Oh uh, yeah, I booked the wrong dates. And I got up at like 4.30 this morning, so I'm like still adjusting. And then I took a nap, and now I'm half asleep. But we're at the Kurana because we wanted to have internet tomorrow. So we still want to work, and food. get some shit done. So me and Johnny and his photographer and Norbert <laughs> are uh, staying at this resort because apparently we'll have more power the restaurant's open, apparently. No confirmation. <laughs> All right, <let's>... Maybe. <laughs> yeah, we're checking in. So I would post like, I would use this app called Video Shop. Instead of just like upload, like doing a real time story, I would shoot on my iPhone and then put a music track over it. Yeah, and then so it got, I got a warning. And then I was like, whatever, I've been posting fucking music for like three years. Yeah. And then two weeks later, it was just gone. Taken now, so I just been, I haven't had an Instagram for like two weeks. Oh, so are you going back now? No, I still don't have it. Yeah, Shit. and that was like oh. a huge part of my fucking impact. Yeah, I just put whatever the fuck I want in my stories. Like, yeah, so that's what I mean. That's like, I'm talking to the guy that's trying to get it back right now. I was like, what's the exact reason? That's like what so I want to know. Mostly. Enough, so you can put a minge on Instagram, but you can't put music on there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> write them a letter. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's my time to be behind Stuart. Oh uh, wow, that's fucked up. Day one, day of silence here in Bali. Trying to be quiet, but I'm dealing with UPS. I had a package shipped there like a month and a half ago. It's all my business credit cards, two bags of cookies for a girl that I never gave to her because they never <laughs> arrived. Some Adidas NMD Pharrell's, which are like $750 shoes that I tried to import, but I already left. I'm in Bali and now they're just emailing me import forms and they want like $500 to import it to fucking Africa. I'm not in Africa, bro. I'm in Bali. So now I have no idea what's going on because I already waited a month and a half to try to get it to Africa and it was like $400 to ship it. Now they want like $400 to import it and I'm already gone. I don't know. UPS, you fucking suck. Man, that 1635 can fit. The whole game. Day one of silence. So, 
There's no gym up in this bitch. So I had to use my seven minute workout app. Time to get the pump on. Oh, just pumped, done and done. But I actually booked this penthouse thinking that it would be a good idea for content, but it's not exactly the best looking spot for a photo shoot. But we have another one, which looks good. We have another one here. <laughs> that shit, we're just using your balcony for this shit. <laughs> there it is. That's a prank. Shit. Taking a pee back there, bro. Just getting ready to take a dump. Pee bagging. That's what's going down there. Play dead. Fans coming to watch. What's up, Grand Fam? I'm back. I'm back in business, baby. Can't hold me down, Instagram. You can suck my dick, cause I'm back. <coughs> I gotta let people know on the gram that I'm back in the game. All right, guys, so fuck. That was like a nightmare for the last three weeks. Totally hurt my business. Our revenues were definitely down. Uh, it's crazy to see how much social media impact of your Instagram being gone. I don't Shoot. think I've ever felt this good hungover, ever. <laughs> <laughs> I got laid, I got my Instagram back, chilling in Bali. It's pretty good. Just some weird shit goes on on Instagram. And a lot of people, so I just got my Instagram back, fucking stoked. But people scam people all the time, impersonating me, which is why Instagram needs to verify me. Even though it wouldn't even make a difference, but I still want that blue tick. A lot of people will impersonate me, and then they'll ask people to like send them bitcoins or something. Be like, hey, I'll manage it for you and I'll give you a cut. And people have sent thousands of dollars worth of bitcoins to people claiming to be me. There's one girl who was even sending nudes to a guy and talking to him on the phone thinking it was me and then she sent me a dm and she was like blah blah, blah. she sent me screenshots of her of him replying to her saying that he was going to blackmail her about the nudes and i'm like what are you thinking like what is going on and so then i just got another dm from this guy and he said someone contacted me on whatsapp and he said my name is camera foos and then he sent that guy two video testimonials, which are fake video testimonials. So people are recording fake video testimonials, claiming that they used my programs for help. And then the scammer is saying, see, this is the real Cameron Foose, send me money. That is how fucked up this is. Like, who's this fucking fuck face from Morocco? Chad, I'm from Morocco. This is my house. I buy it uh, from the help of Cameron Fus. What the My fuck is this? Is, uh, uh, this is all a scam. This is so messed up. Obviously, it's not my account, okay? Like, stop being naive and stupid, you dummies. But when Norbert asks, just do it. If no Norbert question. asks you for $10,000, just give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just, just give me 10 grand. Thanks. <laughs> I don't vlog, I don't Instagram, I don't social media. I don't you have a do clue Instagram. what you guys are up to. Instagram. What's, what's your Instagram, brother? Tommy, Tommy Ray underscore. T-O-M-M-Y-R-A-Y -M -M -Y underscore. <laughs> so that's bleeped out, yep. No free shout outs, bro. <laughs> Under one mail. If you want money, we can hook you up. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Yep. Thank you. All right. Back to the scheduled. Scheduled. Dang, you're higher scheduled up, viewing. Man, so All right, guys, so you know Aman? who's been running my Facebook ads, actually. He was part of the profile episode something. I think our last profile, before we actually cut the show. Out there in London. But, you know, I've learned a lot from him. Doing pretty well with our Facebook ads, but it's also expensive to have an agency. And I also think nobody knows your brand better than yourself. Me and Robert are gonna take over the Facebook ads thing, bring it in house, and dominate, because I think we can uh, actually do it better, because we know our brand. I know social media marketing better than most people out there, so we're gonna take it over. But now I gotta let Amon know the bad news that that he just lost a client. We we're supposed to have a meeting, but we keep having like difficulties being on the same time zone. Yo, Amon, what's up, brother? Sorry, uh, it's been difficult actually trying to get our time zones on the same schedule. I also wanted to uh, let you know we actually wanted to pull out of the the contract for uh, having you guys do our services. Nothing to do with you guys' performance. You guys are doing great. We've learned a shitload. You're a fucking killer and a stud, bro. But at the same time, uh, this is also something that we want to become proficient at uh, within our company. So me and Robert are actually going to take over. Anyways, man, let's uh, catch up, shoot the shit, talk, and kind of see where we go from here as far as like the exit strategy and whatnot. But anyways, man, hit me up when you get this like, oh. cut. Rolling. <coughs> 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 oh, 
here dying curling. Mm -hmm. What is up, guys? Today is Friday. I have something called the Iconic Ad Script, and it's part of what's included in the Iconic Entrepreneur Program. And actually, all of our top videos are based off of this script. The truth About Day Training, the 1.4 million view video, was based off this script. My initial video that we shot, I forget what it's even called, but we'll have a little overlay of it. That's like 500K views. And then this is also a great video for making sales. The other video that we did with the lifetime offer to chat that even though that video didn't have a whole lot of views, it was the main promotional tool for the offer we had when we did our lifetime offer to chat. We did $145,000 in sales, the most the biggest month we ever did. So St. Patty's Day is coming right around the corner on Sunday. So I'm shooting or writing a script right now based off the iconic ad script. We will see if it works or not, but I'm hoping it can produce a six figure month. Obviously our sales for this month kind of suck because my Instagram was gone for about a month and that was our number two traffic source. So trying to write something funny here for the St. Patty's Day shoot, sale, it'll basically be like a parody about me telling people that maybe they should invest in themselves this Sunday rather than getting shit-faced. But during the whole video, I'm gonna be getting shit-faced, <laughs> drinking. So I always try to make it funny. Uh, if you think about like, who started this? The Dollar Shave Club commercial. That was kind of, that's kind of similar to the iconic ad script. There's a, a company called the Harmon Brothers they just wrote a book called From Poop to Gold. Uh, I still haven't read it, but I believe it's something similar to what I produce for my advertisements. I actually should make more of these videos because they work so well. The only problem I don't like about them is because you're you're totally acting. It is authentic in the sense of you're hitting all the pain points problems and the benefits about your product, but it's a total scripted ad. And when I push myself out there with these videos, people think I'm being real as far as though that's who this guy is. Uh, but it's all a scripted act, so, but it's an advertisement and it works, so I gotta, I gotta get to work. All right guys, so we gotta go get some whiskey to be part of the parody iconic ad script video, but obviously I'm not gonna be drinking, so we're gonna get apple juice too. I don't really wanna get fucked up, but maybe we'll pour the whiskey into the apple juice bottle instead, because I'll probably wanna drink it at some point in my life. Jameson, Glen Fitted. Yep. Glen, it's my favorite. I uh, bought Robert and Mike custom engraved Glen 18s for Christmas. And it said, uh, their name said Big Mike and Bob on it, but I accidentally sent them the wrong ones. Oh. So Mike got Robert's and Robert got Mike's. And then Mike posted on his Instagram story, thanks Robert, when it was from me. <laughs> this looks like whiskey, I think. Some tea? I mean, tea. Yeah, kind of looks like whiskey. You gotta take some shots of tea. You said uno más. Sugar don't give you abs. Unless you're Johnny Evelyn. Unless you're Johnny Evelyn. You know, yeah, you don't gotta do much. This is legend. Cameron Foose. Yo. Iconic Life is a new man? brand. Um, I actually first met Cameron back when I dropped out of college. I was an aspiring day trader, and he was a big inspiration for me. So I first started absorbing his content then. Been following him ever since. He produces some really cool shit. So what's up, bro? It's chill, man. Out here in Bali. Uh, we're actually gonna shoot a little workout video with the legend Johnny Evans over here, and then uh, just get a pop in, bro. What's the biggest tip you can give people to kind of just you know just go for it and be themselves? I'd say almost plan as little as possible. Mm -hmm. Just like you just say, like your brother was asking, like, uh, you are you like ready? You should you set up or anything? You're like, no, let's just fucking wing it. Yeah. Like, just be real. Just have the camera rolling, start talking, as opposed to like, right, yeah. let's get this set up, like is the lighting good? Like it's scripting for three hours before yeah, a video so, and shit like that. And there, yeah. there's, there's a time to script things mm -hmm. if you're doing like an advertisement. Like, so part of my program, I call it the iconic ad script. Uh -huh. And we're shooting a video today about it for a sale that we're running. And it's a script that has made me millions of dollars. My top viewed video, even though it's a little douchey, <laughs> is based off this script. Uh -huh. We did an ad for one of our offers we did before, just that video alone produced $145,000 in yeah. 30 days. So while it's scripted and acting, it's also hitting the pain points of, of your viewers and making it relatable and funny. Mm -hmm. So that's also something that we're teaching in the program. Round 
update. Gotta do 10. I wanna do this workout, it's called Hell's Bells. It's actually part of a Navy SEAL training program called the Horseman Training. So if you wanna Google that Horseman Training Program, this is Hell's Bells. It's 10 rounds of hell. I did another workout. That's his workout right there. Okay. All right guys, so we're getting ready to shoot an iconic ad from the iconic ad script, but it's for St. Patty's Day. So obviously you gotta have some whiskey, some Glen Limit. Scotch is not Irish. We realized it a little bit later. We realized that. This is not Irish whiskey. I was gonna get JMO, but I was like, Glen Lee, it's my favorite. It's scotch. I don't drink whiskey, I drink scotch. But obviously, I don't wanna fucking get drunk right now, so I'm gonna fill up this bottle with some iced tea, because I'm gonna be drinking as a parody in the whole video when I'm trying to get people not to drink. But while I'm telling them not to do that, I'm gonna be drinking per se, but I'm actually gonna be drinking tea, because I don't really like drinking that much anymore. Are you gonna pour that down the drain or? No, I'm trying to figure out where we could pour this. All right. Glock, 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 guys, I'm not gonna be actually drinking alcohol in this advertisement. Hey, Facebook, no alcohol. Yeah, this is not actually me drinking alcohol. It's like it's pouring. Will it fit the whole thing? Oh, well. Easy. Look at that! Don't drink it. No, no, no. It's no, like no. a nice hot cup of joe in the morning. Put it, no. Just put it in there. Yep. That wrong. That's the fridge, freezer. Yeah, bro. I like my whiskey cold. So this will be like the clip that we'll put in the end of the advertisement. Like, clearly, I wrote the label. Just kidding. I wasn't drinking. I was drinking water that whole time. Don't be a fool. Stay well from alcohol. One look. Videos is getting weirder and weirder. We're filming some BTS here of the iconic ad script video. And right now I'm day trading in really stupid places. We just did the bathtub. I was in a bush day trading and now I'm gonna try to get up the roof because I'm gonna go day trade up there. You can day trade from anywhere, bro. Got it. What are you doing? Guys, it is. I don't know. My watch is the right time. I haven't been wearing this. It's been a, it's in a, rolling, it's been a, in a safe. Watch. But it's Friday night. It's fucking almost 10 p.m. And I'm having a meeting with Aman and Robert. Talk about one transitioning into taking over our Facebook ads, and two to talk about the sale for the video that we shot today. But remember, I I wasn't actually drinking today, so I put my I put my Glen 12 in the freezer now it's in this nice it's time to celebrate the end of the week because i'm living for the weekend <laughs> make monday great fuck again make, fuck monday just kidding make monday great again cheers to make money monday great again but yeah so we're supposed to have a meeting we're meeting i'm here in bali amon's in london his a uh, guy that works for him as well as in Bogota, Colombia, and Robert's in Miami. So we're like in all fucking corners of the world. And that's, it's difficult. And now I feel like I'm making the biggest sacrifice doing this Friday night at fucking 10 p.m. But it is my business. So we gotta fucking make shit happen. The sales gotta pop. Where is everybody? Where is everybody? Hello. Nobody's responding. I'm here. I'm on time. Cheers. I put my glass on, but yeah. Oh my God, that's Iman there. Yes, sir. Yo. You got her. Oh, what? Oh. That's fucking awesome. Okay, so are you, are you counting that in? When you say that ROI was 42K, it was 42K including if they fulfill those five payments. Or it was 42K just with the first initial one time payment. All right, time out. Time out. 
squatting is not a really cool bit of gimbal. We're we gonna to get some sick shots out here today, bro. But you already got some sick shots. We just gotta double right. down. So we are at some beach an hour north of Chenggu. So as you can see, we've been ripping around on the beach. I just fucking broke my peg on my motorcycle. Just snatched clean off. So now I don't have a peg to put my foot. So now I gotta look like a retard, put my foot back here. So that's annoying. And we just got here. We're gonna get a little B-roll action. Look at this. <laughs> Like, how are you? <laughs> oh my god. Norbert, what are you doing swimming with your toys? Get in the shot. Missing a part from the vlog. Oh, we gotta do an outro? Yeah, you know, like everybody came and crashed at our place, interrupted my entire workflow, but it is it's a nice little. <coughs> Your workflow? How about our workflow? Our workflow. Uh, okay. But no, it was fun. Uh, Johnny's the man. Got a bunch of dope content. Hopefully, you guys liked that vlog. It was a little bit more just like us dicking around and having fun. But my Instagram's back. Instagram's back. Back in the game. That sucked. It definitely hurt my business. Yeah, as you saw there, we decided to run a sale because when your number two traffic source for leads all of a sudden is gone for almost an entire month, it's, it's not good for business, clearly. So uh, we did a sale. It actually ends tonight at midnight. I'm not gonna exactly show you what we did because I'm gonna, it's gonna be part of episode four to show the results. It's, you know, okay. It's definitely uh, hitting the blueprint uh, goals and above and beyond. And I, I can't really complain about that, but everything's back to normal. I'm still house shopping. I don't know where I want to live. I might want to stay in Bali. It's just so fucking good out here. Life is good. Feeling great. The sun is shining, but I'm, I'm fucking sweating. That's probably my only complaint. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching Life of an Iconic Entrepreneur. Next episode, we'll show you the results of the sale. How much did we make by doing that? One hit wonder lifetime offer flash sale. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Love y'all. Peace.